Hello guys, how are you doing? Welcome to episode 12 of Only by the Regions with Liverpool. Before we go into the game against United, we are going to have a little recap of the squad, what my plans are for this following season, and uh, really show you how I'm going to try and maximise or get the potential out of each player, and how they developed from uh, a season on into the game. So we go on ability here, we've got Sterling as the four and a half star ability, which is just amazing for a twenty year old. He's just he's almost world class to be honest. He literally is almost world class. Uh, that probably is world class to be honest. So he's uh he's got that messy potential. And he's nearly reached it. Hopefully he can reach that by the end of the season. We are gonna use the tactic we used against Arsenal in the last episode. If you haven't seen it, I'd highly recommend watching the last episode before this one. So we got Sturridge with the uh, four and a half star current ability. I think he starts off the game with that, so it hasn't changed that much. Um, I can't really remember what Raheem started with, but he has improved a lot. Uh, we're going to play Henderson as the centre mid role. On defend, he's got the physicals for it. He's just insane. And he's got that four star ability. So with the ability for the Premier League, um, I think sometimes two and a half star can be leading star. For instance, uh, Lallana will be a leading star, but he's only two and a half star current ability. Uh, when they start reaching three star, you know they are a leading star for, for most Premier League sides. So if you look at how many uh, plays we've got over the three star mark, it's it's very good. Um, we're going to get Coutinho. He's going to be an important player for the, for us this season. I'm going to play him mostly in the advanced playmaker role or the deep line playmaker. I don't really know yet. Uh, he probably is going to mix it up between the two. And he can still reach that potential of four and a half star. Because with him being only the age of uh, 23. We've got Sacco and Skirtle still as the uh, two centre-backs with decent current ability. Mingley's definitely better on this than he is in real life. Uh, with three and a half star. We've got Markovic who played really well last season. Um, he, he was more of an impact player. And he scored 11 goals. I know he had a decent average rating, so he's gonna. I'm gonna hopefully uh, get him to step up this season, and he can try and maximise his, his potential on the right wing. And then if we have Sturridge, Sterling, Markovic, Coutinho, not forgetting Suzo because Suzo is back, and I would like to use him and Emery Chan. So he's got unbelievable potential in the squad. It, it's just crazy. But um, I'm definitely Suzo had a good season. And uh, last time, last year when I did a Liverpool save, I kind of failed with Suzo. I didn't really. I ended up selling him on. But this year, I do want to keep him. I do want to try and develop him into what he he has the potential to be, uh, which is a star. So he's gonna be. I think when I play Suzo against the weaker teams in the league, uh, he's gonna be the cam, and then Coutinho will be the deep line playmaker. If we play stronger opposition, I'll probably play with Emre Chan as the deep line playmaker. And Coutinho is the advanced playmaker. Uh, so we're going to go. And there's the rest. So we've got Origi there. So I'm going to play game and games as well. But obviously with Balotelli and Sturridge. All fighting for one striker spot. It's going to be hard to rotate them. But I'll, tr I'll try and do that anyway. Uh, I'll have a little look. at the sh Show you the transfers. Because you probably noticed that there's been a few. And my cat's just moving around. If you can hear anything. It's just my cat. You'll probably start me out when I'm in a minute. Uh, I'll show you a few transfers. There's been a few outs. Uh, Colo Torre, he's been replaced by Wisdom. I was originally going to replace him with Laurie, but uh, Wisdom's stats, if I show you him real quick. There we go. Uh, he's very, very good. He's got 20 strength, 15 pace. So he's got good physicals, he's got good tackling, good passing. Perfect for that high line football. And then uh, we'll go back onto the transfers. So we managed to sell Aspas to Lille for 9.75 million. It was actually funny because uh, Sevilla, I think Sevilla had a uh, buy clause in the contract. I mean, he played well for, for Seville last season. And uh, he had a, I think they had a buy clause of about 5 million. They bid 4.9 and he was valued, valued at about, uh, he was around what he is now, 8. Uh, so I rejected it, let him come back and then sold him for more. It was, it was just surreal, really. I see he came back from Stoke, sold him to Hull for 8.25 million. Uh, we sold Coates to Fulham for 5 million. And Barini, obviously, was the strikers we have now. 
Uh, he was only two and a half star ability, so we managed to sell him to Wolfsburg for 14 million. So we managed to get 37 million for them players. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Which is uh, brilliant. So I'll have a look at the uh, regents that have turned 16 who've come into the club. Uh, most of them have kept their five star potential. Uh, there's a few that obviously, uh, you know, yeah, it's still early days though. They could, it could go further up, but uh, some of them, uh, scout reports were incorrect about. Uh, but it's only two. I mean, there's, I think there's about eight that are good. So we're going to show you them real quick. So we've got Hereta. He's got a nice passing. He's going to be that like David Silva type, I think. I'm going to try and get him that. We do need to try and get his determination up a little bit. Uh, but that will come in time. I have no idea what my car is doing. He's just running around. But then we've got Ika Arezo. Arezo. Uh, again, very good. Get very good physicals. Good tackling. Uh, he's accomplished is, is the uh, centre mid already. So we're going to probably work as re using him as a re to replace Henderson in the long term, I think. But some very good stats for a 16 year old. And we got him from Sociedad for just under a million. But he's already a good player for League One. Constant performer. Um, he's pacey. I mean, he could turn into an absolute monster. And we've got Gregory Diana. Already valued over a million. Uh, good pace. Good dribbling. Uh, good passing as well. And good technique for a winger. Decent determination. His stats are already starting to go up. We managed to get him for 850k. And his potential, again, is uh, well classed. So the next guy is Lorenzi. One, probably one of my favourites, just for the fact that he, uh, he could be the next Modric. I don't know. He, he's got good passing, or even Tony Cruz, because he's fairly slow. He's got good passing. Uh, decent mentals for his age. He does need to uh, improve his vision. His, his positioning, but that'll come in time. Uh, his marking need, definitely needs to uh, improve. But his passing at 15 and at 16 uh, is sensational. He's quite a skillful player as well. So we're going to move on to uh, wow, uh, Zwen Zwenica. Zwenica. Again, this guy is uh, similar to the last player. Uh, probably not as good yet. But again, he's uh, a different... He's, he, Mm, he's got good flair, surprisingly, and, and you'd think his dribbling would be good if he had good flair, but his stats aren't as good as the last player, but he's still going to be very, very good. Uh, next guy is Rodrigo Sa, and this guy is just pace. <laughs> Look at that pace. He needs to improve his strength. I'm not sure if I'm trying to improve his strength. Yeah, I am. And we're trying to get him on the uh, midfield centre role as well. So that's him, and then the, the English, the last two are English, I think. Uh, one of them is injured, unfortunately, fractured his rib. But look at that pace for a 16-year-old, 17, so that could reach 20. We do need to improve his acceleration for being an inside forward. He's got good flair, his dribbling could be improved, his passing certainly needs to be improved. But uh, we'll work on that in time. That's what we're doing at the moment. And the last one I'm going to show you has been uh, Andrew Har Harding. So again, he's a striker, and he's he looks very good, man. Like 14 finishing, 15 heading, uh, good composure, good pace. His strength, his strength's okay at 10 because that will naturally go up anyway. He's got good work rate, and uh, for 700k, you cannot go wrong there. We're going to try and mould him into the Trequatista role, and uh, see what his vision, obviously his passing needs to be improved. His first touch certainly needs to. Got a first touch like a pedo at the moment, but that will improve over time. And the uh, under 21s, Harry Wilson's out on loan. A few players are out on loan, I'm trying to get their values up. I don't think they've got a future in the club. Uh, Harry Wilson might, but Alberto and Alori, probably not. You know, but if they have a good season out, they'll come back valued higher, and we might we can uh, manage to sell them. But that is it for the uh, review, I think, guys. Yeah, I'll show you the tactic again, just to, to refresh your memory. So we're going for the wing backs on automatic. I think it was support last. I've, I've changed it a little bit. But there we go. As the roles. Here's the players. The instructions is like that. 
and the player instructions are like this. I think I'll mark later on there. I don't think I've put shoot less often for Henderson, let him do his own thing, Emery Chan. Roam from position for Coutinho to find those little pockets, uh, shoot less often so they don't obviously have like long shots when they should really pass it up. And they got to hold up the ball there. Uh, is there anything else I can show you? I think there's one player I haven't discussed, and that's uh, one regen that I did sign who came in, but he was a bit older because the Croatians seem to produce like 17 year olds instead of like 14, 15 year olds. And it's this guy, he's still got his 5 star potential ability, he's decent for the championship though. And we've loaned him out to a Portuguese side. Uh, there we go. So we're playing against teams like Porto. He's going to be playing a lot of football for them. He's, he's going to play and going straight into their first team. And what you want to do when you're uh, loaning out, if you do decide to loan out your regions, uh, rather than giving them, if, if you have too many basically, and you you know you decided you like this player, you want to try and introduce him over a couple of seasons into his first team. But you can't do that to all your regions, so you need to loan them out. Try and loan them out to clubs uh, that are playing in divisions that are similar re reputation to your own. So I think League One down to uh, Premier League down to League One all have four star. So you kind of want them to. If a club comes in for an offer, if it, if it's a shit club, it doesn't really matter. But if it comes in for to, so they'll play, be playing in a similar reputation league to yours, and it will be more likely if that, if they do well, their current ability will go up quicker, uh, rather than just loaning them out to the championship or whatnot. So there we go. So we're going to play United. I'm not sure what's going to go, um, what's going to happen in this game. We could lose. Uh, I'll probably, you know, uh, realise if this tactics work and against lesser teams than Man U, than your Arsenal's. You know that that you don't really know what's going to happen in them games. But we have got a tough start to the season. We got United twice. Uh, but we're going to start to do the episodes. I think every two months. So just to get it. A accelerate it a little bit uh, until the regen start progressing through the team because uh, we don't want to be like 30 episodes in and still waiting for the regen to be in the first team you know what I mean so we're going to go into the uh, we're just going to do the one episode to, uh, the one game today even in this episode and then we're going to come back in two months time there we go so let's go into the squad you've seen the team uh, let's make sure it's alright Marino <laughs> really disappointed about Moreno because he got those two massive injuries and his potential just went down dramatically. Uh, but there we go. See, three months, three months. And his first season in the Premier League to be out for six months is so cruel. But we're going to go into the game and see what happens. Uh, yeah, there we go. It'll be a tough fixture. We're going to put it on tactical... There we go. There we go. The usual faith. And start game and put highlights on goals. I forgot to mention preseason. Yeah, we managed to beat a team. I only played the last two preseason games. Oh, they nearly took the lead early on there. Uh, we beat FC 24 2 and we beat some Turkish team which uh, are in the Europa League. 8-0 away, which is sensational. Sturridge, ooh. Big chance early on there. Nice possession stats, uh, but that'll probably even itself out towards the end. But Coutinho, no. Man, you have got such a array of attack and talent, and it's quite worrying. But if we can manage to, you know, keep up with them, or even... Have a few better chance, create the better chances than them. That'll be brilliant. They're, they're very open. I think Sterling might be offside there. I don't know, but he's, he's on. Sterling! It's 1 0. First goal of the season. Hopefully, many, many more to come. And we do take the lead against United. That's nice. I'm really starting to get irritated by that Luden thing. I don't know what's up with my laptop. But nice little finish from uh, Sterling. To make it 1-0. Uh, the possession has gone down significantly though. But hopefully that will improve. Sterling. Oh he should have made it 2 there. We've had three clear cut chances early on. 
they can't really handle is uh, United on the break. We're actually hitting them on the break more than actually uh, retaining the ball, which is my aim for this tactic, which is very fucking strange. But it's still early on in the game. It may improve. I mean, if we end up finishing the game uh, with the about, say, 54% possession, I'd be happy with that. Markovic, Sturridge, Coutinho, Coutinho, oh, De Gea ends up and uh, claims it comfortably. So we have by far created the better chances, but we've been uh, having a bit of a shit time of finishing at the moment. We've got Coutinho, bad pass. Skirtle though, good interception. Markovic, can you run with it? Glenn Johnson on the overlap to Henderson. Sterling, and it's 2 0. And he's offside. Oh no, I want to check that. Because <laughs> you just know they'll probably come up. Is he offside though? When does he play it? Oh shit, he's already played it. Uh, yeah, he is offside. Bollocks. I don't know why Henderson was so... Oh, do you know why he's higher up? Because he's got the gap. Oh, fucking hell, Di Maria. So they've, they've, they've had one half chance. And they score like a 40-yard free kick. And it's frustrating. But, you know, I'm still confident we can... What is Mingale doing? <laughs> that was shocking. But there's possession going up there. Uh, we'll just ask him to take it. We'll go into the second half. Suzo's just standing still. Is he meant to be warming up? He's just standing still. I think he wants to come on. Good tackle by Markovic. Coutinho. Oh, he can't give the ball away there, man. Johnson, good work. Markovic, Sturridge. Oh, he just gets crowded out. Yanazai. Van Persie looked offside there. He managed to uh, have a clear cut chance off, off that attack. Rojo, oh my god. So they're definitely playing better in the second half, United. We might need to uh, bring on a few fresh pairs of legs. Moreno. I hate that thing, you know, where they slow down. They've got about 10 minutes to run, get the ball, and either clear it. Oh, what a tackle that was. Clear it or do something else with it. But they just run really fucking slow. And you just see someone with about two pace quickly accelerate. It's just absurd. Right, so we're going to bring off Markovic for... Who should we bring off? Should we bring on Origi on the right? Yeah. And we'll bring... Off Emre Chan, drop down Coutinho and bring on Souza. Sterling's had a bit of a knock there. Could have a chance here. Henderson, Souza, Coutinho, Sterling, Souza. Oh, Souza scored! Oh, you beauty. Get in. And we haven't done much in the second half, but I'll take it. Nice little finish there by Suzo. And hopefully we can just go on and win this 2-1. Sterling might need to be brought off, though. Um, yeah, I will, actually. We'll give him a little rest. We'll put Coutinho on the left. Bring on Joe Allen. So it's been a very even game, uh, all in all, but that's what you'd expect against United. They did just go and win the league. They do have, uh, they've invested in a lot of players. So it's uh, it's going to be a tough game, whatever tactic you do use. Skirtle, Sturridge is through. Can he finish it off? Origi! Oh, here we go. It's perfect. <laughs> we got Origi who's come back on uh, off his Lille loan and Suzo off his Espanyol loan. And they've both scored. They've won us the Community Shield. This is perfect. In off the post. There we go. It looks like we've won it. I'm not sure how that wasn't a clear-cut chance, though. 
had a fucking open goal. Rooney found him. Rooney's deep there, though, isn't he? Send him off. Send him off. No, there we go. So it looks like we've uh, started the season nicely here with a nice little uh, community shield. Glenn Johnson. Are they going to make... No, great defending by Sacco. He's an absolute tank. So there's a nice, nice win there. I do want to show you something before I go. Uh, I just thought it was amusing. Come on. Come in. Right, let's go on to competitions. Find Chelsea. Go on to general. Uh, where is it? Where was it? Facilities. Yeah, due to move into the 57,485 capacity Lampard Stadium. Fat, Fat Frank would be loving that. Like, what? Where is Lampard? Is he at that New York team? I nearly typed in Fat Frank. Come on. Uh, Frank. Lamp. There we go. Oh, as if I just did that. There we go. It's on 93k a week. Jesus. They've got to have a beer as well, haven't they? He's injured, though. What are their facilities like? As soon as they're associated with Man City. Nearly better than mine. Oh, that is another thing, actually. We've try to improve the uh, way well, that we are going to be improving the youth facilities it finishes on the 9th the 10th we were too late to improve the training facilities so that's going to happen towards the start of next season uh, but that is it guys I hope you enjoyed I'll be back in two months uh, for the next game and it'll probably be it may be in the Champions League yeah hope you enjoyed it guys and I'll speak to you soon bye bye